Okay, put in the new igniter. This is the old igniter. Okay, it's just straightforward when you do it. You remove the cover in the top with the four screws. And then you just take out the the ignition cable. This is ignition cable and in the ground. And there's two screws, like Phillips screws. Just make sure you use a magnetic sc screwdriver. Pop that in, you know. And this is the cover. And this is the brand. It's the oldest model. MCBA control board. MCBA. That's the old model. Alright, let me test it before I do everything else. So. <clears throat> It just happened when it's unlocked out and you shut it off. So let's try it again. It tried to have the ignition cable not touching that stainless steel. We'll see. So it's on pre pre check for airflow now. Pre forging. Let's see how it works. There's a new igniter in there. That's the old one. Let's see. It should be just one click. Number two, ignition. It's a brand new igniter, so now it's firing up. Number four. Okay, hopefully that's the only problem in it. So we need to stack up more of this. The last guy he said called the other company and using a... a dollar bill to clean this up. You're not using dollar bill. If ever I have to clean it, I would use a steel wall. But rather just change that. Okay, now we are up and running. Temperature going up. You can see uh, there's a flame in there now. Let me turn this off. I can see there's a plane now. Okay. Are we got heat? This video is for that igniter chainsaw for triangle tube MCBA control.